Welcome to Brixis TV. In this movie, you will learn about the various methods to insert blocks in a drawing. In BricsCAD, blocks can be inserted using the Insert command or using the Drawing Explorer. Do one of the following to launch the Insert command. Choose Insert block in the Insert menu. Click the Insert tool button on the Insert toolbar or type Insert at the command line. The Insert dialog box displays. Click the down arrow at the right hand side of the name field to see a list of all internal block definitions. Select a block in the list. The insertion point, scale and rotation is either specified on the Insert dialog or on the screen. Click the OK button to insert the block. The block moves dynamically in the drawing. The insertion point, which is defined in the block definition, is attached to the cursor. Click to insert the block. Because we have chosen to specify the scale and rotation angle on the insert dialog box, the block is placed right away. We will now insert an external drawing as a block. Right click or press enter to repeat the insert command. Click the browse button. A file dialog displays. Select the drawing and click the open button. Specify the insertion options and click the OK button. The origin point of the drawing is attached to the cursor. Specify the insertion point to insert the block. In the following steps, we will now use the Drawing Explorer to use internal and external blocks. Choose Drawing Explorer Blocks in the Tools menu. The block section of the Drawing Explorer shows all block definitions in the current drawing. A preview image of the currently selected block displays in the preview pane. In icon view mode, a thumbnail image of each block displays in the details pane of the Drawing Explorer. Double click its thumbnail image to insert a block. The Drawing Explorer dialog closes temporarily and you are prompted to specify the insertion point for the block. The block scales dynamically and you are prompted to specify the X and Y scaling factor. Right click to accept the current scale. The block rotates dynamically around the insertion point. To define the rotation angle, we can either type a value, click or right click to accept the default angle. Whether BricsCAD prompts for the insertion scale and rotation angle depends on the insertion options. To define the insertion options, right-click a block and choose Options in the context menu. Let's check the fixed scale option and place another block. The block now rotates around the insertion point and BricsCAD prompts to specify the rotation angle. Let's type 90 to insert a block rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. By default, angles are measured counterclockwise in BricsCAD. Using the Drawing Explorer, we can also insert blocks that exist in another drawing without opening the containing drawing. Click the folder step in the Drawings pane to access this feature. I have added here my Blocks 2D folder, which is a kind of block library. The different drawings in this folder contain blocks of the same kind – cars, electric equipment, furniture, etc. Expand the drawing, then click Blocks to see the block content of each drawing. Let's insert a block 
representing a car. First, I go back to the block insertion options and choose a line. Notice that the scale and rotation options are not available now. Double click the block. The nearest entity snap allows me to move the car along the center line of the road. Click to place the car. BricsCAD prompts for a mirroring point. Click a point to define the driving direction of the car. Thank you for watching this movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.